Hey guys, this is Shanita of the Essence of Coils. Thank you so much. It is now February 12th and we are doing our Black History feature for today. If you are new to this channel or you have no idea what I'm talking about, every day in the month of February in honor of Black History, I am exposing and honoring a black owned beauty brand and it's just to kind of get the word out there that they exist and to prop them up and thank them for their business and for catering to us and also to get you all to realize that there are so many brands and so many products out there. I know that there are tons of channels that show a ton of different products but I thought I would just take this and um, separate the companies by days and I am talking about the companies giving you a little bit of history and also then showing you what I have in my stash from that brand. So if you are interested in seeing what today's feature is, stay tuned. Okay guys, today's Black History feature is Talia Wajid. This is a brand that has been around a long, long time. Talia Wajid is actually the name of the young lady who started the company. And she started her first natural hair care line at the age of 14. She has been around over 25 years and is one of the first companies that has done a complete line of chemical-free products. So um, probably... Uh, before we knew of the Shea Moistures, before we knew of all the, you know, the newer companies now that everybody has and everybody's talking about, Talia Wajid was there, you know, believing in her cause and looking for natural care products that would benefit her and her family, not knowing the foundation she would lay for thousands of other natural care brands coming behind her. She did a lot of um, inspiring other companies to just start up, just give it a start and and to get out there and so because of her I know a lot of companies are inspired so I wanted to share with you today the few items I have from Talia Wajid I have so few because like everybody else I've been jumping on the bandwagon and trying all these new brands that have come out with so many wonderful products it's so hard to use them all it's so hard to go through them and you, you, I stress when I do wash day trying to figure out which brand to actually use. It took me a long time to try Talia Wajid's products. I believe I was probably four years into my natural journey before um, I realized it. and actually it was a YouTube video that inspired me to use it. I was following a young lady whose hair was very similar to mine and um, when I saw the product I thought, oh, you know, that looks heavy. It's probably going to weigh on top of my hair because my hair is so low porosity. Like the cuticle layers are shut up tight. And so when I saw this young lady's hair come out, I thought, these products are very, very inexpensive. I have nothing to lose. I'm going to give them a try. And so the first one I tried was that Curly Curl Cream. And I loved this stuff. Loved, loved, loved it. So I'm going to show you all the few items that I have left. And every time I do one of these features, you know, I think to myself, that's a product I need to go back to. And, oh, I need to use that brand because it's so good. Sometimes you just forget how good they are when you end up collecting so many. But this one has been around a long time. It is going to be around a long time. Um, her products are listed on her ingredients list. Um, the, li the list of ingredients are using the scientific names of some of the ingredients. And so it can be a little bit confusing when you look at it. You think, okay, these are a lot of big words that I can't pronounce. And I know I've been told if they're big words I can't pronounce, it's probably chemicals. These are natural ingredients. They are just the scientific words for the actual ingredients so there are a few on here that is obvious and it never fails okay i am going to list some of the ingredients here for you and i didn't even tell you what it was i'm so silly this is the curly curl cream this is the very first one that i tried from her line this one I always see in Sally's and it is just one of those base products when you're looking for Talia Wajid. This one is there if nothing else is there. And so it is the six ounce 
jar and it says it is for extreme curl definition you get no buildup or frizz moisturizes and conditions hair with shea butter and sage and it is a paraben free it is cruelty free uh, the products are 98 percent natural and this is one of the products you can use on wet or dry hair and some of the ingredients are water shea butter there's glycerol stearate cedar oil alcohol stearic acid sodium cocoa glucamate see what i mean so they, they are ingredients like that that you think okay you're just calling words i have no idea what you're talking about and so you really need to look them up to realize they really are natural ingredients they're just in their scientific form so this is what my sad little container looks like and it is thick 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 so when I first saw the consistency of this, I was like, there's no way this stuff is going to penetrate my hair strands. It is absolutely too thick. Like there's no melting. There's no running off. It is uber, uber thick. And it even feels just thick. I don't, it doesn't even feel like a, one of those soft, creamy creams that we see nowadays. It is thick and it's just I think this works probably better for type 4 coarser hair I know my hair loves this stuff it gives one of the best shiniest heads of hair with so much definition I absolutely can use this wet or dry and um and this is one of those that you can use and you won't have to retwist for two or three days because although it's thick, it is going to give you so much moisture and the definition is so amazing that you can use it and, you know, know that you're going to be good for at least a week. Put your hair in a pineapple, put it in, you know, a couple of buns or whatever, but you can let that hair down the next day and be good to go. Love, love, love this. If you are a um, thick coarse haired girl or if you you know have hair that is hard to moisturize and you may have overlooked this in the past because you haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about it especially lately you want to pick this up the last time I looked I believe it was about seven dollars I hope that's still about right I know when I bought mine it was about that price and you can find these almost anywhere this this was one of her very first ones and so this one is going to forever uh, be there and by the way she has about now four separate four or five entire collections of products at this point so she started with the one and I believe this was one from the basic line and so now she has four or five different collections and within those collections there are you know shampoos and conditioners and stylers and gel for each uh, collection. There's something there for um, finer, looser, curly hair. There's something for thick hair, coarse hair. There's something for low, high porosity. There is something there for everybody. I know right now her that green apple um, collection is just all the rage. That's all I see now is the green apple collection. And so I tried samples of that before and um, I didn't end up investing in those and they it just was not enough moisture for my hair so this basic line that is really catered to the you know thick coarse hard to moisturize hair this one is the one my hair just loves it does not hate the green apple but because i use this basic line first i just know that my hair prefers this one and so this is the great detangler and this one is advertised as a leave-in conditioner and a co-wash and it says that it is rich with moisturizers, protein, and conditioners that lightly coat, soften, protects, and it helps strengthen the hair. This one is a little bit more, some of the ingredients are a little bit more noticeable. Um, so there's water, soybean oil, vegetable oil, cedar alcohol, cedar alcohol, behendromonium chloride, there's hydrolyzed silk protein, aloe vera, there's coconut oil, plant extract, fragrance, and a preservative at the very, very bottom. And so that is all from this. It calls it a creamy, silky formula that will give you no buildup. I'm going to show you how that looks. So that one is 
very much like a leave-in. It feels so good too. Oh my gosh. That feels really good. Oh, uh, why has it been so long since I used this? This this feels so good. It just I'm getting nostalgic just thinking about it because now I can remember how good it was. I've never used it as a co-wash, but it has so much slip slip. That silk amino acid um ingredient in it causes the tangles to just melt when they um, when this comes in contact with the hair this is a very very light conditioner but it has enough um, moisturizing ingredients in it to make it a very good one uh, some of the features on this it says it stops breakage while combing curly kinky coily and wavy hair and that it eliminates tangles on contact and it provides some moisturizers, protein, conditioners, softening. It is exactly what you 